Welcome back everybody, this is Rito here with another Anna the Archer Calamity Revengeance mode playthrough. Once again, we're only playing with a bow since this is an archer playthrough and it's been a blast so far. Today we want to start off the episode with a quick boss fight. So we're going to build the sprout to summon Krabulon. So now that we got this sprout, all we need to do is find an area where we can fight him. Which means we need to find a biome like I think there's a mushroom biome over there and I don't see any mushroom biomes right below our base so let's go ahead and jump into the jungle and go find that mushroom biome and fight this boss so here we go we're in a mushroom biome now this isn't the best area. We don't have a lot of space, but I don't think we're going to need it. We'll just go ahead and bomb this right here. And bane mine this up. Okay, that should be good. Well, maybe I'll put down... T this is way overkill, probably. But I'll put down a few platforms. Just to give us a little bit more flexibility when fighting Krabulon. He spawns right on top of us. So one thing I wanted to try was using the Sivo. That's actually pretty good. In fact, I may actually use it on him. He's it's doing so much damage. Just tanking them since our arena is really inadequate. Actually, this bow is way better for killing these little spores. There we go. <laughs> we accidentally skipped Gravulon, so that's why it was a little bit easy to fight them. Kill all these. There we go. And what did we get from Gravulon? We have this lore piece that gives us a mushy buff while underground and in the mushroom biome. Don't really know if that's useful or not. We got a treasure bag here. Plasma root. Permanently makes rage mode do 15%, 50% death mode more damage. Wow, that's really good. I didn't even know he dropped a permanent buff. Summons a fungal clump to fight for you. And we have what well, appears to be a handgun, I think. Sweet. Well, that's a fun boss fight. So now that we got that, let's go back to base and see about summoning the old army and see if we can... I don't know if we've got enough strength at this point. Oh, a treasure. I don't know if we're strong enough to defeat the old army, but we've got some pretty powerful items. So we could give it a shot and see how it goes. Okay, so we just bought two Eternia Crystals and a uh, Crystal Stand. Okay, so I had to clear off a little bit of a space here in order to summon the boss, because it was not letting me summon it with all of my platforms everywhere. Okay, well, we're looking pretty good for this fight. Doing plenty of damage. So all we need to do, if I remember correctly, is protect this crystal from any damage, and we're going to be fine. Back in the day on Xbox, I played Dungeon Defender, so I'm a little bit familiar with how this works. You get the mana, and you put down little items to do damage as they walk through it, little towers and whatnot. I don't have any of those right now, so I'm just going to be blasting them with my bow and hoping for the best. So far it seems like I'm doing enough damage, so we should be fine. Most of the time, by the time you can defeat these, it seems like you can get better items easier anyways. I think these portals that they summon look really cool, though. 
Okay, this time we get wyverns. So those are going to be like the main focus, is killing the wyverns before they can do damage. Okay, there's a wyvern right there. Take that guy down. Oh, we're getting a little overrun. The, the crystal's taking damage. It's not good. I don't know if we're going to have the DPS for the final wave. I, I don't. I think there's five waves. I'm not sure. I'm just guessing. Oh no! Stop it! So this is the Dark Mage boss round. Kill that real quick. If we can kill a Dark Mage, that'd be pretty sweet. What we need is Jester Arrows. <laughs> there we go, Jester Arrows. That's what we needed. It's worth using a few Jester Arrows on this. Take that, Dark Mage. Sweet! We got the Dark Mage. I don't know what's happening. Oh, we just defeated it. First try. That's awesome. Man, switching to Jester Arrows really changed the game there. War Table Banners. That's kind of fun. Switch off of Jesters. What else did we get? We got some medals. We got a... Oh, we got a dragon egg. It creates a little dragon. That's kind of fun. I like that. And... Yeah, it doesn't really give you anything, so... Oh well. It's still fun to do that. And now when we look at our boss log, we've got a full clear up to Slime God. Which means we know what our next step is. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and fight Slime God. And these banners look pretty cool, so let's put them up around the base. Add some color. Yeah, that, that looks kind of cool. To summon the Slime God, what we need to do is craft something with Bright and Gel. Oh, Zen Potion is with Bright and Gel. Nice. Um, but we need Overload Sludge, so we need Evanstone and Bright and Gel. We should have plenty of Evanstone if I haven't already gotten rid of it. There we go. So let's craft a few Overloaded Sludges because it may take a few attempts to defeat this boss. We've got honey, we've got a heart lantern, torches, all the good stuff. We've got a flower, sunflower right there. So we are ready to start fighting our next boss, which is the Slime God. It's got one of the coolest soundtracks in the game, in my opinion, um, but it's a pretty hard boss. So let's give it a shot and see how it goes. Ooh, already off to a very bad start. <laughs> oh no, this is hard. <laughs> song so cool. <laughs> so we're doing pretty good damage, actually. I'm gonna try to take down most of these guys' health at like kind of a uniform rate. Because I think if you kill one first, the others get harder. Man, they're really fast. Okay, it's popping my first heal.
So that middle boss, the small one, actually does a pretty hard attack that hits you and makes you unable to control your vertical motion. It basically just makes you float. Man, I'm doing pretty poorly on this. Making some mistakes here. What I need to do is switch to Counter Scarf, I think. That will help. Seven seconds off a of heal. Okay. And if I can grab those hearts, that will help. Just got cursed. Okay, we're doing all right. We're 30 seconds off a of heal, but I think there are some hearts up here. Which I will go grab. for no reason right there. Oh no, I'm cursed. Okay. Ten seconds off a of heal. No! They're going so crazy, I can't evade them. No! <laughs> okay. Definitely... We're switching to Counter Scarf, and we're gonna do this fight a little bit cleaner next time. Whew, yeah, that's a hard fight. Let's give this another try. I think I may build a slightly longer arena on the top, because it's nice to be able to kite them a little bit farther. So let me extend this, and then we'll start it right back up. Okay, I think we're ready to go. We also had a pretty rough start to that last fight. We took a few hits when we were just getting oriented. But we get to hear the good music. Can't complain. It gets you in like this trance listening to this music, fighting the boss. I love how much there is to look at and focus on during this boss fight. It's really enjoyable. There we go, get that honey going. Do a counter. Yeah, that dodge ability is gonna save me. You could just dodge right through these bosses because it's pretty hard to avoid taking a hit in some of these spots. This extended arena is also really helping. And dodged everything right there. It's always coming back that there's always so many little orbs and it's hard to, to keep your arena clean, so take some damage usually. to really clear off our arena. Okay, I think we just killed the first slime. We killed the little slime orb, which I'm gonna go back and grab those hearts. That's good. We haven't used a heal, so we're ready for that when we need it.
Oh, we're taking so many hits. Okay, we're gonna pop a heal. I think we're just down to the last purple one. Should be able to beat them. Although we need to be very careful because we don't have any heals left. At least 40 seconds until the next heal. two percent we got this we got this yes <laughs> awesome yeah the counter scarf is so much better on that fight oh, it's such a fun boss and kill these last little slimes slimes really can take a hit we're like sliding around so it looks like this is giving us a dashing ability or something. Place in your inventory to become slimed and be able to slide around tiles quickly at the cost of reduced defense. This effect makes dashing more difficult and does not work with mounts. Yeah, it really makes you move fast. I don't like it though, because it's it feels like the ice effect. Like I'm not pushing left right now and it's just making me slide. And there's not really scenarios where I'd like that, so. I'm going to put that away so I don't have to slide around. We'll put that in here. And Purified Jam makes you immune to all damage and most debuffs for 10 seconds. Interesting. So now that we've beat the boss, let's take a look and see what we got. Boom. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. So we got the Slime God Mask. We have a gel pack, which permanently makes adrenaline take less to charge. Wow, that's great. So we'll get our adrenaline up faster, which so far I've been really bad about rage and adrenaline because I keep getting hit and it's hard to even track it sometimes. So I haven't been following it close enough probably, but as we get these buffs from bosses, it will make rage and adrenaline more important. So static refiner used for special crafting. Sweet. Let's put that down. So this increases max mana. Uh, it's not really an accessory I need. I'll just store that. Gel dart, we'll sell that. Purified gel, that's really the main thing we're looking for. And we'll sell the god, uh, slime god mask. And range, don't need that, don't need that, and don't need that. Okay. Sell those. away the harvest parts now purified gel what can we craft with purified gel so we can craft a goo bow and we can craft the lunarian bow as well as a gel pickaxe and new armor sets so it looks like we'll probably need to fight the slime god twice unfortunately i don't think we've got enough hellstone We got enough for the armor, the greaves, and we're out. So we need, we've got a ton of hellstone, but we don't have enough obsidian. So I'm gonna go down and find some obsidian really quick, and then we'll finish crafting that. This is a perfect spot for obsidian. We will just mine this for a little bit. Well, that was easy. Head back to base. And we can finish up crafting. Make some more hellstone. Boom. That's more than enough. So the last thing we need is the ranged damage variant of this Statagel headgear. That's what we need. Sweet. We'll switch that out for our aerospec armor. And let's see what this 
does. We have 10% increased range damage, 7% uh, ranged critical strike chance. And then it says when you take over 100 damage in one hit, you become immune to damage for an extended period of time. It's kind of like titanium armor. And grants an extra jump and increased jump height. Sweet. This removed fall damage, this aerospec set bonus. And without using wings or the balloon, I don't know if we still have fall damage. Oh, we do not. <laughs> okay. Let's see if our wings remove fall damage. Okay, so the wings remove fall damage. We have enough to craft the Lunarian bow, but we need a demon altar. So let's grab the ingredients for it. This seems like it's the knight's edge of bows, which is pretty cool, because it always felt like melee had the coolest item to craft in pre-hard mode with the knight's edge. But now they've kind of extended that, I think, to all the other classes. So we're just going to head over here, find a demon altar real quick. Just in case you ever drop your different, like, difficulty changing modifiers, you can recraft them at a demon altar. That's pretty neat. So we'll craft the Lunarian Bow. And let's see what it does. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is so cool. What? Okay, let's use it on this boss then. Actually, I'm gonna switch it. And I don't even think it's got a modifier on it. Whoa, this is such a cool bow. I love it. It's just absolutely demolishing this boss. is a pretty darn good bow. This boss seems to be more aggressive the second time we fought it. Because the first time we fought it, we were above ground and it was just hardly even noticing us. Let's reforge this bow. Hopefully we've got enough gold and everything. If not, we can sell some of this. Let's upgrade our lunar bow and see what we can get. Oh, unreal, nice. I think we are probably ready to head over to the abyss real quick. We'll just go ahead and build a house right up here. We've got our house built and we'll set our spawn. So I brought some guild potions. I also have my other stuff like my ocean crest, which might be a good tool as well. So I'll try popping a guild potion, jumping right in. So it's doing damage to us. I don't really know how to avoid that, but at least we're not drowning. So I guess we'll just go as far as we can before we need to pop heals. Oh, well, we're not taking any more damage. Ooh, Torrential Tear, which controls the rain. That's nice. Well, we are doing good damage against these mobs. And then we've got Strange Orb. Don't know what that is. So we'll go down as far and as fast as we can and just throw lots of glow sticks. I think this will do damage to me. Nope. Okay, so we've got a staff. We're almost out of breath, so we may need to head back to the surface. Okay, yeah, we're dying really quick. Teleport back. Well, we've got Torrential Tear. I really like that. That doesn't craft into anything, but that's a really good tool to have. We have a summoning, some potions. I mean, we could just summon our fairy merchant and sell some of this stuff. Ooh, he can get into our house. Okay, so 
This right here is a summons a young siren light pet. Awesome. So that's the little fish thing right there. So it looked like we needed to go to the left. That's that's the correct route to get farther down. So I'm gonna pop a gills potion. And we're good to go. Ooh, another treasure chest. We got some plating, that's great. That will help us get deeper next time. I know that you can get lots of items that assist you in going deeper into this biome. Ooh, iron boots. That will be good. I think those let you sink faster. So it looks like we're taking damage now, I think. So let's port back. But we do have the iron boots and the plating. So this reduces the creature's ability to detect you in the abyss. And this allows you to fall faster in liquids. So that's definitely gonna be good. So we just need to use our gill potion and let's switch to our iron boots and fall much faster. And then we can switch back to our stress pills once when we get down deep enough. Oh, another treasure, nice. We got the lionfish, that's good. Good rogue damage. Ooh, another treasure, right over here. Grab that before we die. We got the archer fish. That's a really good one for mage. So it looks like we're taking a lot of damage now. Oh, maybe we can grab this last one. Loot, loot. Okay. <laughs> oh. well, at least we got the last treasure chest down there. We've explored the abyss and we've defeated all of the pre-hard mode bosses except for the wall of flesh. So our next step is really to fight the slime god one more time so we can craft our last bow and then start preparing for the wall of flesh. I'll go ahead and craft an arena for the wall of flesh before next episode so we'll be ready to start hard mode. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one and I'll catch you next time. See ya.